Hey guys, thank you for joining us. We uh, this is uh, what is karaoke in the car. <laughs> Where's the mic? Where's the mic? Grab the mic. <laughs> Hi there, we're just interviewing John Tui, aka Sean Tui. Uh, we're just uh, gonna drive around and get some QA um, for the upcoming movie Baron. Is that how you say Baron, it? Baron, the legend of Baron Dota. Baron Dota. This journalist needs to do his homework. No, no, no. no I, I have done my homework, but I cannot, for some reason, I cannot say the name Baron. It just doesn't roll. Bro, the way I say Baron in the movie is Baron. Better on better on I think they'll be better. Better on better on And it's uh, coming out next week. If you get this on the 19th, 19th of February. Yeah. So yeah, just going off it, uh, bro. Tell us a little bit about the the movie, The Legend of Baron Dota. The themes in this movie are universal. I signed up to do it uh, last year, and we shot it last year. And it's it's the classic tale of it, for me. And when I played the character was the immigrant migration over to New Zealand to find a better life. Yeah. Uh, he raises, the character raises children in New Zealand. And um, what you see in the movie are the pressures of, of being the son of someone who successful was successful in his sport. And, um, you know, died, yeah. at a, died when he was young. And then he's under the shadow of carrying his father's name. So, I, you know, for me, when I say it's universal, yeah. I think it's a lot of children uh, who were born in other countries from their parents' uh, effort to, to immigrate there to find a better life for them. Um, we are, as for myself, um, just being a better product of where they were when they came here. Yeah. You know, and we had this conversation totally in agree. the restaurant. Like, uh, we should be at a better stance than our parents when they when they migrated here. Correct. I'm not, I'm not telling you what what people should do, but I feel this is my opinion and I own it, is, yeah, that's the pressure of, of being first generation. I'm a first generation Kiwi of yeah. Tongan descent, and I try to be, uh, I try to represent the, I don't know, success in the eyes of my parents. So. You've come off the, the big the big movie, Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah. Uh, that, 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 that was well done. That was an awesome movie. Um, that, that, again, was heavily based on family. Yeah. Uh, so is this The Legend of Brian Thor. Uh, Baron. Ba ba Baron Thor, sorry. Baron. Baron. So what are the similarities <laughs> you have w within the two? Uh, the family aspect is huge. I think um, uh, in Hobbs and Shaw, it was nice to see uh, Hobbs' character go back to his roots. And that's where a lot of the pride for the Pacific, for us, uh, who claimed Dwayne Johnson, um, seeing him take that franchise to Samoa was uh, for me a highlight of my career. It was very emotional for me when I saw it. Not only was I honored to actually play one of his brothers, but also to, you know, to be able to don the ear lava lava, uh, to to hear the someone spoken word around around me and seeing the Wayne actually make an effort to to yeah. touch on that side of his uh, life. No, it was, it was definitely it was definitely mean to take Samoa to the big stage like that. Not that it's already on it, but for people to take a deeper look into the Samoan yeah. culture and for no. to, to show it in, yeah. in such a yeah. such a strong way, and to have Joe and Hawaii in it, who yeah. was my cousin. So the wrestling factor, the, the you know, because those uh, those Samoans in the wrestling uh, industry over in America are the pioneers, big pioneers. I grew up in the uh, I was you know child in the 80s late 70s so when I'd see them on my black and white TV or my dome TV with the old school switches it was <laughs> I, I couldn't believe that I could I, I could see my beautiful Polynesian people and our faces yeah. on that TV on an international stage so it was it was massive for me to be able to work with Dwayne Johnson yeah this. and another thing you put on the big international stage was the red carpet now me being a pride pride for Tongan myself it was awesome to see the the Tongan attire, the Tawala and the Tupenu yeah. on the red carpet. Bro, can you walk me through? What were you going through? Like, you, you know, know, what I, made that decision? Well, like I said, like, uh, first of all, being part of that um, franchise and playing a Samoan as one of the Hobbs brothers already touched me. I knew that it also uh, triggered my pride for being Tongan myself, you know? Yeah. And, I remember uh, getting ready to go over there and uh, looking at different suits and stuff, but all I could remember was that I, my success is from standing on the shoulders of the 
generation before me. Yeah. My my parents um, and their sacrifices that they made. So everything just went back to the essence. I mm-hmm. mean, I see fame destroy a lot of uh, celebrities. Yeah. Um, they forget themselves. And it's not a bad judgment on them. This is just what I have seen. So everything I see in this car is my opinion. Yeah. And um, you can call me up on it. But if you do, be careful because I... I do respond if you can have the courage to take your privacy settings off. Then I can go into your life and take you apart. But oh wow! For me, it's it was I remembered my parents and their struggles. I remember being poor, yeah. having nothing. I remember being hungry. We were a big family. I remember my mum stretching oh. just a kilo of sausages to oh, feed a house of ten. Tell me about like it. these things to me uh, instill a, a tenacity in you. Yeah. A, a an awareness, a strength that you don't get when you have everything served to you. I'm not of noble descent. Mm. I was, um, I'm the proud son of Tongan peasants that came here to New Zealand to have a better life for me. But, and I hope I represent that. No, nah, they're doing awesome. Just going off that meal, I still remember growing up, man, you know, lamb back then apparently was really cheap. But when you had lamb soup, because there were so many mouths to feed, you had so much yeah, but, broth. But, it, but only had like two And now it looks like chicken backs, yeah. uh, lamb chops, or even mm. like, uh, what do they call you? They sell uh, the lamb shanks, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But nah. going back to the red carpet, for me, it was to acknowledge my parents that were still alive, to acknowledge the, the culture that I'm from that has taught me humility, yeah. taught me how to, to be God fearing. Yeah. And when you have. Uh, if you if you are for me if you got fearing then automatically you've learnt that there's something higher than yourself mm. so you go through life being humble but in saying that and we were talking about it before mm. I also want my people to have a voice correct you know to because there are others out there that take advantage of our humility and like to capitalize on it yeah. and that's part of that business world and this new modern era that we're in yeah. Um, so I think it's, a, it's trying to find the right balance. So for me, wearing that Tupeno and Tauvala on the um, carpet was spiritual for me. Yeah. Well, yeah. He, well, he definitely inspired, and not only inspired, but it was inspirational to our old, our old older generation of Tongans, yes. especially my dad. He, he, my dad, he grew up in the in the age that he only knows Bruce Lee, Chuck Norris, no, you know, Rambo. That's, that's, the, that's the bread and butter. Yeah. Man. And so when he saw Taovala and Tupen on the red cup, he was like, is that a tongue? And I was like, yes, it is. But that's the it. First that's, song and that's that was it. it. For me, I want to inspire the kids who still have nothing. Yeah. And then and they know that I'm from that cloth. And that if John Tui can do it, I can do it. And that's the message I, I want them to have. Yeah. I want them to know that. This dude just, see, this is South Auckland, bro. Some dude just walked topless or past this with a massive gash <laughs> on his forehead. <laughs> And he's just walking like it's a Saturday morning stroll. Uh, hi to my uh, to Fari, Welcome to Zavzag. I want to stop and ask him if he's okay. But the, the grunt in his face, I think he probably want to have a one out with, a, with an actor oh. and uh, make the papers. So like as, as John too was saying, we are driving around his neighborhood. We're driving around South Auckland. Um, Damn. <laughs> oh, man. He's a- <laughs> Ain't nothing like it, man. Ain't nothing like it. You wake up, you smell the coffee, the birds are tweeting, and you see the tweakers, and it's all love, baby. So, so he's like, okay. He's okay. I'm sure. I'm sure he's fine. He's walking. That the means blood. St- that means blood still flowing. That's all. Oh. <laughs> he's fine. Blood <laughs> still flowing. Middle moss. Oh, he's actually walking towards super clinic. So he's, super, he's fine. <laughs> but going off. I know, your parents, I, I know your parents migrated from Tonga. Would you like to talk about where you're from, from Tonga? Uh, Villa, my you know? my uh, mother is from uh, Maufana and Hofo, shout outs. And my father is from Hasidi and Talafo. Oh. oh, wow. And I've, you know, I've been to Tonga. I actually went to Tonga for the first time in 30 years, two years ago. Oh, wow. And uh, when I hopped off the plane, the first thing I did was yeah, kiss the ground. Because I had so many memories of being in Tonga when I was a kid. Mm. Um, I, I, I think it's important for our children to yeah. to visit the, the, the motherlands, Tonga and Samoa, yeah. Fiji, Niue, Lalo Tonga. And there's just something, there's a, there's a learning experience of going back. Because our people didn't migrate here until like the 50s yeah. and the 60s. We're still a young culture in New Zealand. We here are Kiwis. I, Make sure my children understand that they are mm. uh, Kiwi Tongans, you know. Um, I think with the success of MMT and the, the league, has actually brought a lot of the uh, 
here to Jan of a lot of us that are here, whether you can speak Tongan or not, whether you're Afghasi or whether you're full Tongan. And it's a it's a pride that I've really enjoyed seeing. Um, but I also want, I'll, you know, for me, I, I wish that they'd support their artists the same yeah. way as they do their athletes. Yeah. Because I understand why we love our athletes. Yeah. It's the brawn in us. It's that warrior spirit and connection in our history that we love. But don't forget that it's the artists and the creators and the ones with the imagination that stretch the envelope of society. Wow. Awesome. Um, just just quickly, um, I, you know, for young actors out there or young young uh, individuals, uh, what any advice that's trying to get into the acting industry? Do you have any advice for them? Yeah, integrity. Keep it. Keep your integrity. I have seen my industry turn out a lot of people, strong-minded people. Just don't forget who you are. Mm. Know why you're in it for. I went to uni to study this. Like, I didn't pass anything in high school. I left high school with nothing. But I loved playing rugby and I loved drama. And um, I was always enthusiastic awesome. and being part of productions. Um, and now, like, I, I love Shakespeare. I also love my, I still love my action movies. I love my nostalgia films. But more than anything, I feel it is important for the world, and this is just me, to know what Polynesian culture and, and art is, is all about. Yeah, there's we have so many yeah, stories. So many great stories. We are beautiful. There, eh? We are so yeah. beautiful. We need to own that. Instead of trying to be anything else, mm -hmm. but embrace our heritage. It's what defines us in the world. Like some people who've never travelled outside. I know dudes that never travelled outside. So yeah. Going to town for them is a massive thing. Going to Hamilton for them is yeah. an overseas yeah, experience. Yeah, yeah. You know, because I've had the opportunity through my art and through my profession to travel the world, it's given me a broader perspective. It's made me prouder to be a Kiwi. It made me prouder to be a Tongan Kiwi. It made me prouder to be a Polynesian in, on this planet. And I want to instill that not only in my children but for the youth. Yeah. So going off back to the movie, uh, The Legends of Byron Dotter. It's going, he changed that. <laughs> uh, it's going to be Baklava soon, next brother. <laughs> and there's a couple of words that start with B. Let's yeah. not go there, bro. If it, if it gets to that point, we're calling it Dotter, okay? The Legends <laughs> of the Dotter, that's it. But in, in, going back to it, you know, as you know, we're, we're big fans and, you know, we know family members of the Team Parker. Is there any, is there any, um, Moves that Byron Dot uh, would, right. would, would suggest to asking, yeah would suggest to just Joe for his next fight coming up. Well, you know what, Joe? Uh, being the fastest hands in the heavyweight division, there is uh, there's always room for that overhand right, brother. That's uh, I don't know, man. With Polynesians, it's the the overhand right is the king. That's the, that's the argument stopper yeah. right there. Oh, you know, yeah. Because it's the strongest, uh, usually it's the, your right hand, it's the strongest bunch. So your mum is not a straight mother had ever right as well. Oh, brother, I've seen my mum lean into it. So, yeah, Joe knows what we're talking about. I, well, when you watch the movie, <coughs> there's a scene in there where the Baron, um, he's had enough of these uh, tinny house dealers, right? So, he's the guy, and because he's, you know, everyone knows him as the wrestler, when we did the choreography, and uh, by a great stunt team, shout outs to Andy and Augie, um, we, we, we made the fight more real, I, I wanted it to be more real, and if you look at, like, everyone says, you know, he's basing this on King Haku, there's elements in there were the, obviously the writer John Argyle who wrote the thing was influenced by it. we can't deny that mm. let's not every, you know and one thing I can't stand about some things on social media is people just assuming judging fully on it and believing their own bullcrap mm. and they have this this freedom to opinionate on it but we can't turn the camera yeah. back on them you yeah know? I, for me I was inspired by King Haku you know and I knew that dude the King Haku could bang yeah you know, the can bang and that's like, for me, when I took uh, the character on, when that situation happened where the Baron goes up to the tinny house, calls those dudes up, and then tries to be diplomatic the island way, yeah. and then that goes out the window, and then it's <laughs> it's hands on. Yeah. To me, he was like my father, my uncle. This is that, that Pacific Islander yeah. that is 
just nice until the other co- the side of the coin flips. Yeah. You know? And so, sometimes in life you wish that situations ended like that. <sighs> and and it's, and it's <laughs> like, you know, and for me, I just wanted to show how, uh, you know, some of our men, for as big as they are, they can move. Mm. They can move, brother. Eh? And, um, I, I think it's beautiful. I, yeah. I, I really love that about, I, that's my pride of the Pacific. That's why we, you show, you look at the NRL, 40% of the NRL of the Pacific Islands. Yeah. And we're made for that sport. Yeah. Contact sport, bro. Our bone structure density enables us to throw ourselves out. We're big, our twitch fibers, our muscle mass, it's just like we are prime athletes. We're the Vikings of the Pacific. Yeah. So that to see, to see uh, Baron in action like that, it's just like, don't judge a book by its cover. I think it's actually a quite, a, know, quite an epic way of putting it, the Vikings of the Pacific. Yeah, Never heard that before. One of my best friends is uh, he's Dutch. He takes a lot of pride in his people being big. You know, look at the South African rugby teams. Mm. But I'm like, but we have a warrior gene in us that mm. separates us. It's, it's very different, bro. You know, when you look. Sorry. Yeah, so the Baron for me, the, oh, the, the yeah. fight sequence, yeah, it's the overhand right, but it's the sleeper. So if you're listening to this, Joe, um, You've got recommendations for overhand right if, if that comes in. Well, bro, I. You know what it is, bro. You know what it is, Joe. I just do. Just keep doing you. Just, several. just off topic. I just want to get your view on this because, as you know, you're, you're Kiwi. We're we gonna drive past this following you. <laughs> Most likely. That's why I've gone. To, I've done the lap. Hopefully, we see the topless guy again. But just going quickly. <laughs> are you union or are league man? Uh, I grew up union, but I'm league. My sons yeah. play league. I played for Rewa, uh, Rewa Marlins. Oh, shout out to Rewa shout Marlins. Shout out to Rewa. And, uh, man, just, yeah, I, there's no hiding in the league. Yeah, I'm not saying it's a better sport. I just I just love the, the, the challenge. Okay. Would you consider yourself a great league player during the Marlin, Marlin days? Nope. And everybody that played with me would agree. Uh, I <laughs> that wasn't, was, that I, was brutally I wasn't, I wasn't a good league player. <laughs> no crap, but I could put a shot on. Uh, and I love the Aji Baji. I love the challenge, man. I love the, you know, being a Ford. Oh. Just love getting amongst it, man. Oh. I could, uh, bro, I'd run it straight, I'd take a hit, and I definitely would give one. I loved putting the shoulder. Bro, it, that's why my two players, Sonny Bill Williams on defense, and Steve Matai, bro. Oh, you know? mean. And, yeah. And so, <laughs> I was a one-trick pony. <laughs> I was a one-trick pony, bro. Like, I'll just run, I'll just run my, my channel, my channel, my, yeah. my lines. But uh, when it comes to defense, I was hunting, bro. I'd oh, love wow. to try and put a shot. <laughs> wow. But the problem with that is, you're marked after that. And yeah. then every time you take the ball up, your head gets taken <laughs> off. But there is something to be said about walking off the gridlock, knowing that you emptied the tank, and that's life. Yeah. 40 minutes a half. Yeah. Do you go in soft? And are you tentative or do you apply yourself 100? Wow. Do you overcome the bully, bro? Do you face it, take your lashes, and get ready for the next week, bro? It's, yeah. it's as alpha as it gets. Mm. It's as alpha as it gets. And like Joe, what Joe does is, we can all sit there and judge judge my brother, but I'll tell you what, man. You put the gloves on, go for one minute. <laughs> and you oh, know where your cardiovascular fitness is at. I'm, I'm just curious. Have you ever had the chance to spar Joe? Or? Man, we had, I, tell you, I think I told you at the restaurant. Yeah, we had this this little this little throw of hands. And, I, you, you know, every time you see, like, a fighter or a league player, you size them up. Yeah. I'm talking to all the alphas out there, right? <laughs> is there a part in you would be like... Man, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I was doing my man. Not, not like loosening the shoulders when he's looking past. Well, I, was trying, I was doing some strokes. <laughs> the man was just like doing his thing. The joke's like a real play. That's what I love about him. He's a, he's a happy guy, yeah. man. He's not serious, bro. So you can't be angry at breakfast. You just woke up. Anyway, there's no eggs on him. <laughs> so he was just playing around with the shadow boxing. And I was like, oh man, came up close into his range and threw a lazy jab. Like, yeah. I put everything in there. But <laughs> <laughs> and this dude, like, as I was loading up to fake, I, the wind of his jab <laughs> beat me oh, to throwing yeah. a fake. And I was like, oh my God. And then, oh, we had it now. And he was just throwing these combos and I'm finding a weapon. And he's standing, like, so far away and I couldn't get him. So my temper and getting my butt kicked didn't uh, work well. So I got the towel. I had a training towel on my shoulder yeah. and I threw it up. At him, and he went to catch it, and then I came in with a over oh, yeah. right, I would have caught him. Yeah, I would have caught him. Hey, whatever it takes, right? <laughs> South Auckland, that's how you do it. Nah, but I wouldn't get in the ring. I mean, he's 
Profe you know what professionals do and as I'm telling this to people out there, as an actor, and I am a professional actor 20 years in this, uh, what professionals do and athletes, they make what they do look easy. So we go, yeah. we can do that. Seriously, that's... Correct. So watching a piano player riffing up and no one knows how long it took for that piano player to hit that last note, even those fingers up that panel. Training, 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 that it looks easy. And they fool us into thinking that we can actually yeah. do that. They fool us. So for me, in my field, I'm an athlete in my field. Mm. So, yeah, I, I encourage you yeah. to, to come into this. Otherwise, just stick with TikTok and all your Instagram posts. Oh, wow. But just be humble out there and just know that your grandchildren are going to watch the content of your stuff that you put out there. And hey, keep your integrity. Like I say, a lot of people yeah. want to come into my industry and be big movie stars and stuff, and they give it a time limit. They get their feelings hurt, and then they move more out of there. They go do something else with their life. So my only thing would be keep your integrity. Know who you are. And lead with love, man. Just don't be a dick. Before we wrap it up, I just want to ask. Uh, this is this is my own question I've chucked in here. Holden or Ford? Holden. Oh, brother, shake the hand. Shake the hand. Holden. That, that's that's when you know. Brothers in America. Uh -huh. Ford. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, no, it's, <laughs> it's, it's good you're honest because we're out of gas, and I'm just gonna drop you off on the side here. <laughs> so, um, well, you want to see me walking <laughs> topless on the stage with my What a You can also walk topless with the other guy. <laughs> Oh no. oh no, but thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in. This is John Tui. Make sure you go out and watch uh, Baron the, Doa. the legends of Baron Doa coming out Honestly, on Wednesday. Yo, yo, it's gonna be unexpected, man. Like, I don't, we've there's never been a movie like Baron Doa. I think the way our um, comedy and our humor has been, it's good, but I'm kind of over it. I like to see something a bit different. Oh, true. I, I love. Baron Dota is funny and the action is just off the chain, man. Come and support it.